how are you? Hi, Kirby. You're going to teach us how to get at-home ombre? I sure am. All right, so how do we get started, Eric? First, actually start off with brushing your hair. Yeah. Making sure that it's nice and smooth, you don't have any tangles. Yeah. Then you're gonna section it, and then you're gonna wrap a towel around you, and then we're gonna get started. You wanna make sure you're using all the ingredients that the manufacturer suggests and making sure you mix them according to the manufacturer. All right, so you've done the mixing, now it's time to actually apply it, but this can be the hardest part, right? It can be the hardest part, but this brush makes it so easy to apply. I'm gonna teach you a little trick on how to use it. You don't wanna pour too much in there because then you're gonna end up with a big glob on when you first start off working. And I see that you're not putting it all over it. I'm not. It usually recommends to do that, and you wanna do that if it's gonna be for a more heavier ombre look. Okay. But this, this we're going with a more sun-kissed look, so you wanna put it more towards the end, because you'll have a little bit more control over the product. So I'm taking two inch subsections. Okay. Bringing the hair forward. So you start off with very lightly applying at the root, uh -huh. a very fine line working to a thicker line towards the ends. Okay. Okay. And so you're not even going up to the top. You're just going maybe like a third of the way down. Exactly. You wanna make sure you're also saturating the hair enough uh -huh. so you get enough product on the ends. Cause if you don't, you're gonna end up with little holes or little, you know, gaps. So I think an easy way to think of this is when you're taking your two inch subsections of hair, mm -hmm. is to think of it in thirds. in thirds. The first third, you don't touch the yep. roots. Leave that alone. The second third, it's very gradual. It's very and then the gradual. third, you really load it up. You really load it up, okay. exactly. Cool. Just keep that product more on the ends of the brush, not too much all over the brush. All right, so you've applied everything. How long does it take to process? Well, make sure you read at the back of the box. With this application, it actually says it takes about 40 minutes total. But how do you know when it's the right color? Ah, and that's when you get your extra towel that you have and you wipe down the little piece, preferably like towards the bottom of your hair, because uh -huh. that's where it's been on the longest. Yeah. And you check it. You just make sure you really, really rub the product off so you can have a really nice clear view of the color. And in I her can, case, yeah, she needs a it, lot She more. needs a little longer, <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna do is you wanna reapply onto the brush uh -huh. and reapply onto the hair. Okay, so I've been checking her hair out now for about 30 minutes and I believe she's ready. She's at that really nice caramel tone that I love and that I suggest for a dark hair. So let's go get you shampooed. Okay, so this is big reveal time, right? This is it, um. yep. Now we're gonna go and um, comb her out. Uh-huh. Step you can kind way. of already tell too, even while yeah. it's wet, that it's you know lighter and that the ends are gonna be really nice. Looks so really sun kissed. Yeah, beachy, you know, beachy California girl. Okay, so here is our final result. Looks gorgeous. Here it is. And it looks nothing like the box. The box looks dip dyed, but we kind of made this our own. Exactly. Yeah, with the two inch subsections that we took and the way we applied it, this is the end result. You get a little bit more of a sun kissed highlight versus yeah. like a dip dyed look. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much, You're Eric. Welcome. This is beautiful. Now I need some at home ombre. <laughs> <laughs>